Okay, so last time I put a fresh marijuana leaf in resin. And when I did this, I also put leaves in between two paper towels in a large children's encyclopedia, then put some storage bins on top of it to squish it down. And my second leaf I did on my fresh marijuana leaf in resin video actually had been dried for three days and I don't have it with me, but I hear it actually was dried completely and it still has all of this color on like this one. So the marijuana leaves have been in the children's encyclopedia for about three weeks now and I'm going to put them in resin in an ashtray mold. So as soon as I took the leaves out of the children's encyclopedia I put them in a ziplock because if you leave them out they will crumble really easily and one of mine already crumbled just taking it out of the paper towel which was really sad. So I'm gonna try to piece it together in the ashtray mold. Okay, and then I make sure to wear a mask and gloves always before I use resin. Anyway, so using a silicone cup, I pour equal parts A and B and mix that slowly until there's no streaks. And I use a heat gun, which helps make it thinner and also helps get rid of bubbles. And then I pour it from my silicone cup into a plastic measuring cup, just to make sure I've gotten everything from the sides and the bottom of the silicone cup incorporated into the mix. And after it's well stirred, I pour it back into my silicone cup because it's just easier to pour that way. So I poured my resin into my ashtray molds and I just filled up about halfway of the outside of the mold and just a thin layer over the center of the mold and went over that with my heat gun. Then I tried to piece together my broken leaf and I just used tweezers to hold the leaf and try to piece it back together. And then I put my good leaf in and pressed in the leaf with my fingers into the resin. So I poured some resin into a small cup and added some white alcohol ink to that and mixed that together. And then I just randomly poured it over the mold because that's as good as I can do. And then I added some silver foil flakes to my clear resin and mixed that together. Then I noticed that the white resin I had added made my broken leaf migrate, which is fucked it up. And so I had to piece it back together again using the tweezers. And then I poured the silver flake resin on the outside a little more and just covering the leaf. It filled about three quarters of the mold and I'm gonna come back tomorrow and fill it the rest of the way. So 24 hours later, I come back. So I realized that my broken leaf moved while I left it for the day. So I didn't wanna waste any more resin on it, but I have it right here. There's a nice hole in it. Yeah, it's sad. And I realized when I was mixing the silver foil that I should have added the silver foil in the beginning, but I didn't think about it. So, oh well. I basically did the same steps as yesterday, using a silicone cup, poured equal parts A and B, and mixed that really well. The cup was kind of full, so I mixed it in the plastic cup and then poured it back in the silicone cup because you don't want to use the heat gun on a plastic cup. It's not smart, don't do it. So I poured some resin in a small cup and put white alcohol ink in it and mixed that up well. And I poured it randomly over the mold and then I added the rest of my silver foil flakes to the clear resin, mixed that up and then poured that till it covered the mold completely. And then I just used a plastic butter knife to go in and kind of mix around the white and the clear a little bit to make it smoky and also broke up the chunks of silver foil with my butter knife. I went over it again with a heat gun, making sure I get rid of all the bubbles that I can and then just drip the last couple drops of wine I had over the mold and then waited 24 hours again and then now here we are through the mold. I'm not even seeing it yet. Okay, I think that turned out pretty good. I mean there's bubbles, but there's always bubbles. I think it's pretty cute. There's a little bit of smokiness that came in the front, which is cute. Yeah, there's a little bit of smokiness around the side and then definitely layers of smoke on the bottom. I think it's 
pretty good. It's sad that there is only one good one, but when more leaves fall from my friend's plant, there will be more to come, maybe. So this is just a fuck up. Welcome to my life. One big 